To learn how to deal with other people's negativity, watch this video. So Tommy's been having a bit of a rough time. Everybody knows the COVID thing. As soon as it passed, you feel pain, worries, fears. Oh and yeah, people are getting sick, there's yeah. financial oh, troubles. Yeah. Confusion and then yeah, there's protesting. The protests and yeah. people are really upset. There's like racial tension. Yeah, so much going on. Everybody feels it, but um, you feel it L a yeah, lot. Little, little more. And then on top of that, all of a sudden... <laughs> My brother, he, he, he almost died. He had to get surgery. We're so glad that he's been able to recover. Mm -hmm. He's come out and he's now staying with us. It's a bit of a full house, <laughs> right? It's already a full house, like a six, six of, of us. us and, and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then there's his cat, yeah, he, yeah. and then there's him. Yeah, and so seven people with two cats. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you understand family dynamics. Everybody gets that. It, um, you kind of push each other's buttons. I push his buttons, he pushes mine. Okay, and it was Saturday, mm -hmm. and we had already two kind of heated conversations. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was a little yeah. tense. <laughs> And so it was, yeah, it was oh, a yeah. lot to deal with. And so Tony was keeping it together. It was amazing, actually, how well she was doing. But then, you know, okay, it kind of came around to 10 o'clock at night. He starts up another conversation and it got heated again. It was kind of a rough conversation, but, but it actually resolved well. It got, it got to a good point. It was actually a helpful conversation in the end. So I come down to the bedroom. So Tony's already there. And I say, hey, that, well, that went really well. But uh, I was greeted by dead silence. <laughs> and I'm like, what did you say? It went well? No. How many times I told him I want quiet wind down time before bedtime so I can have a peaceful, calm, relaxing time so I can have a nice sleep. And then at 10 o'clock at night, after they had two big fights and two isn't enough, so they're gonna have three, yelling at each other. I feel it all over my body, the pain and the anger, and it's very painful. No way that I can relax and I peacefully go to bed, no. <clears throat> so when he said, oh, that went well, like, no, it didn't. No way I can just wind down here. <sighs> That's what I was feeling. Okay, this situation is not so easy. To me, it's not such a big deal to have like a little heated conversation. I can work with that. But for her, it's a way bigger deal. And I've learned to uh, recognize that over time. Um, and I've gotten better with it. So I didn't escalate the situation and create a fight. So I did okay with that, but it was still was an uncomfortable evening. And I guess we kind of just left it off there for now. So sometimes I can get overwhelmed uh, by other people's feelings. When I'm having feelings, sad, mad, first thing I do is um, check myself and see this feelings coming from me or not. I got, I feel sad to have a reason to be sad, mad, why I'm mad. Right? When I have a reason, yes, I take responsibility and I deal with it. But sometimes I have no reason to be sad or mad. That's when I'm receiving other people's feelings. And there's uh, lots of things you can do to deal with it. And we'll get into those in other episodes but um, my favorite things, personal favorite to do when I'm feeling overwhelmed is this, coming out in nature. Mm. Nature tells me everything is going to be okay. Everything is perfect as it is. I received those messages. I love it.
sometimes um, when you're living in the city, you cannot come into the mountain. <laughs> you can just go to a nearby park. That's what I do. I just go to the park and lay on the grass. That helps me a lot. So yeah, what I learned is that this stuff is not easy. Working with you on this, this <laughs> stuff, all this emotional stuff, I'm a guy. I'm logical. I try to solve everything like it's a problem. But you know, when I step back from that and I don't try to problem solve mm -hmm. and I actually learn to listen to you, right? Just listen. And I learn to connect mm -hmm. and I learn a whole different language and I whole, learn a whole different way of looking at the world. I, I gain awareness about how things really are working, how they're all connected. Um, the people are connected and the relationships, the way that works way better. Thank you for that, <laughs> seriously. So if you want to know how tough, <laughs> but always rewarding <laughs> it is to live with an empath, then be sure to subscribe to our Sakaso channel. And we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>